So we're moving out of our RV for a few days while Stuart and Lindsay are here getting things done. I need every bag we got. What do we got? Every bag we got. Hey, is that all the bags? <laughs> Sweet. So phase two of our remodel is kicking off and it turns out it's gonna involve our bedroom, it's gonna involve the mid bunk, it's gonna involve the kitchen and living room. It's gonna be very difficult for us to be in this RV while this is going on. So we've been told we need to get out of here <laughs> by Stuart and Lindsay to have the best shot at getting this done in the time frame we have. So we're on a time crunch from getting this remodeled. We literally, or finding somewhere to go today. We don't know where we're gonna go. <laughs> like, and, and we did not, we have more bags in this, but they're, most of them are back in Tennessee because we did not expect to do this. It's one o'clock, so we didn't figure this out. We know where we're going yet? <laughs> yeah. um. To top all that off, we actually also have been having issues with our refrigerator, which is around a year old. A week ago, it just stopped cooling. There we go. It's cranking up again. <laughs> At least it's not it's in like our bedroom. It's like we're taking <laughs> off. So our one-year-old refrigerator has started making uh, strange noises. Already in the freezer, sweating. This is barely, I mean, that's not good. Top's supposed to be 38, the bottom's supposed to be negative two. 49, oh my goodness. 41 degrees down low. Yeah, I feel pretty confident if this entire refrigerator had to come out, this could be like a... <laughs> Going another, through the window again. Another window issue coming up. Oh. Uh, we're hoping not though. The plan is, since I have nothing else to try, <laughs> just to kill the power in this thing for about 10 minutes and then um, then I'll kick it back on. We'll see if maybe it makes it live another day or two until we can get it fixed. Fridge. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So props to Mark Appliance Repair. Uh, they were here like within two hours this morning. Got it fixed. This is cooling, this is cooling. I want the temp, 36. It's getting there. The freezer's at 21. So I don't think we're gonna lose everything in the fridge and the freezer, which was obviously the big fear when you have something like that going on. We're kind of on a tight schedule here where we're staying to get this done uh, before we move on to our next spot. And so yeah, we're, we're all this on top of moving out of the RV. It's uh, it's quite the day. So this just in, we do have somewhere we're gonna go. Yeah, just like five minutes ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cabana Bay RV Resort, we've been there before. It's we were there. It's not an RV resort. Yeah, it's not an RV resort. Well, it kind of was. We took our Airstream. They let us park in the parking lot last time. What was that three years ago, four years ago? I actually went and slept in the Airstream instead of the room. I just missed my Airstream. Yeah, we got a lot going on and all this just kind of started spiraling like the last <laughs> hour or so. It's been a lot of money today too. <laughs> like the fridge and then the resort. So it's been a... Uh... <laughs> I know. My sister's flying in today. Huh? We're not going to be able to access our rig for a couple days. So it's just like this whole level of complexity of trying to move and pack and find a place to stay, but be excited. So, cause I'm super excited at the same time, but it's just like a lot swirling through my head right now. What are they going to do at Cabana Bay if we walk in with Walmart bags with our clothes in it? Is that cool? Is that standard? Is that pretty normal? Cause that's looking like either we hey, gotta start I being only, super. I packed for Hawaii in one bag. Well, we don't have one bag. So yeah, that's the problem. Well, we have one bag, literally it's, it's a whole new, way of defining one bag travel like. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna give you guys my Tortuga. And you're gonna use this? No, I'm not putting anything in that. That is not for me. This? No, Come on. I'm not. No, stop. Just If me... you could pack, Nathan <laughs> probably could pack a week in that. I could do a week and a half. Do you have any backpacks that I can use? Just take. That's too tiny. Done. I do not need this. <laughs> Okay, so I think we're packed. Packed, we good? Ready to roll? I'm working on it. This is all gonna be way different after phase two. Man, I don't know if I've been this like excited but nervous at the same time in a long time. Yeah, I had a little <laughs> bit of say in this, but not a lot. So um, if you knew how all over the board she was as far as the different colors she's looked I at. I think in, in the room. last 24 hours, I've changed my mind. Like dead set, this is what we're doing, changed my mind. Um, three different times because we were between three different colors. Finally, Lindsay said, all right, it's ordered. You cannot back out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that this plays out the way it does in my head, so. Right, once JJ's up, we're out of here. Oh, 
Good job. <laughs> See, I'm coming. Go punch a number eight. Well, there's no number eight. Go to level three and see what happens. Yeah, this doesn't look right at all. Come on. This is just the parking garage elevator. All right, that's our building right there, I'm pretty sure. Do you see anything that says the name of where we're staying? Almost there. Eighth floor. Uh, sixth floor? Back down. All right, let's go sixth. Come on, almost there. All right, go ahead and sleep first. They have not had this much room to run around in a while, indoors, obviously. So the plan was, which we didn't really have a plan. The thought was, maybe that's better. So Marissa's sister Mackenzie was coming in town. Originally she was gonna stay in the RV with us. That was not gonna work out because we couldn't even stay in the RV. We reserved this two hours before we came here. And the plan was to go to Universal with her a couple of times. So they were like, okay, let's just go stay at Cabana Bay at Universal. But pro tip, if you book Cabana Bay over a weekend, two hours before you arrive, comes the grand reveal, comes the view. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Say wow! That's a big wall. Yeah, we got a view of um, <laughs> we got a view of the building next to us. <laughs> and then the thought too is like in between going to these theme parks, we would like relax at the pool here. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like 55 degrees and super cloudy. So Marissa and Mackenzie have actually uh, you can walk. I guess what they call the Orlando City Walk. So you can walk on this road and it's like 1.2 miles or something. So they went to go watch a movie. I'm here with the kids who have gotten um, a pretty good chunk of screen time since we've been here. Cat, dog, egg, bitch, goat, hat, eagle, jack, and zebra. Okay, maybe that, that's not a bad idea sometimes. <laughs> Today we are starting cabinets. There's two different versions of kind of doing cabinets in an RV that people are kind of doing. Latex or conversion varnish. Conversion varnish is much closer to like what you would get on a cabinet from like a home store. It's super hard, chip resistant. The downside to that finish is when it does chip, it's not easy to touch up. A little bit more durable, but still gonna get chips. We like to stay on the side of more like alkaline based cabinet paints. It's durable, you can touch it up. It's just the safer bet for RVs because it, again, doesn't matter what you use, it's, it's getting destroyed. miss our RV. Me too. What do you miss about the RV? I miss my loft. Do you miss your loft? I miss my king-ish size bed. And uh, yeah, I miss our pillows too. So <laughs> you don't know if you hear the grunting in the background. <laughs> Chase. We're in the uh, the fun potty training phase. To the potty, off the potty, to the potty, off the potty. Probably the 12th time today I think he's been on the toilet. So it sounds promising this time. Yeah, the last year and a half has been really tough for us. No, I think you just forget all these things that are involved with raising kids. The potty training phase, napping, the meltdowns, like JJ is in a, we call it code red. We have different levels of um, chaos, but he'll, he'll go into code red for like 30 plus minutes sometimes out of nowhere. The stroller, diapers, wipes, juice. It, it's just, everybody said you'll miss this phase, but it's really hard while you're in this phase. But I feel like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. JJ is starting to be potty trained. He is starting to be a little more self-sufficient. The meltdowns, yeah, the, the meltdowns are still bad. JJ, you did it! Poop is in the potty. Is it in the potty? Did you put the poo-poo in the potty? Good job! So one of the best things about staying at the resort is the access to the theme parks. And so we already went to Volcano Bay. You gotta dance if you want the waves. So they try to get people to dance. Apparently this is when the uh, volcano, I don't know if it's volcano gods or what, but apparently, <laughs> apparently some waves start oh, coming wow. out. This of is thing. a true volcano. Oh wow. Right here. They are legit into it right here, man. There it goes. <laughs> Was that you dancing? Did you 
You guys like Volcano Bay? Oh man, yeah. it was like so much fun. It was, it was incredible, I loved it. There is a water slide that goes down in the, through the volcano and I have never ridden a theme park or a water park ride that the platform drops out beneath you and you fall straight down through the volcano. Yeah, so Volcano Bay is like a five minute walk from our room. And today, Islands of Adventure Universal Studios is like a 25-ish minute walk from Cabana Bay. Mackenzie's with us, I don't think I've shown her yet. So. <laughs> if you come to Orlando, they will come. So we always love having family come visit. You want the pizza out? Yeah, we'll get you some pizza. Do you eat it with a knife and a fork? You cut yours easily? I like eating pizza with a fork and a knife. Some people says that does not count, but I can't be the only one, right? I also cut left-handed. Do you cut left-handed? Uh, I don't cut, so I basically rip it apart like a wild animal. So I don't know if fully expressed this, but she's actually a nervous wreck as far as like what's happening back at the RV. Paint choice is so tricky and intimidating. The thing with RVs is the light is always changing. So you can pick an RV paint color and then based on your light, it can pull in totally different hues. So that's what I'm most nervous about too is what is this going to look like as we travel the country and have different, different light in the RV. So anytime I have the opportunity, I will reuse. So this is the top of the dresser in the bedroom. It's beautiful maple. Just sanding this down. Um, and then this is going to be uh, pretty much a natural finish, which is again just going to bring that you know the wood tones and you know the the warmth into the into the space. So it's Sunday. <laughs> I have to try to get the room done. And I think two more days they come back and expect to sleep here. I know I always say that spraying is amazing, and it is best product. But I swear, while you're doing it, it is just catastrophe it looks like everything is outright destroyed i mean it kind of is <laughs> i got my work cut out so i should uh, probably get back to work it's hard not to sit and wonder what's going on or how it's looking i've i mean maven has seen nothing you guys can kind of in the comments or vote or whatever like kind of what you're thinking is coming up mainly three colors there's been some other options too but mainly it's like let's go white let's go black and then the third one which i have not been a fan of is like some variation of green she went she had like a, what, a darker green, then now a lighter green, greenish gray, but something with a green tone or hue in it, in which I'm, I'm like, let's just go white. We'll accent it with stuff. Um, I don't know. I was like, would white be too, too safe, too plain? Would black be too dark? And then, I mean, obviously, like green would be like this fun choice, but would we get tired of it? Would it be too much? So it's like a lot to consider when you're renovating and painting something. Um, I'm. So, I'm so, <laughs> I know she knows what it is. She's been looking at. I'm like, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna see it for the first time, just like you guys. We're really afraid that Nathan's gonna hate it. Marissa picked this color, and she went back and forth for months. She loved this, so we are rooting for it. But like Stuart said, it. If I oh, know, she gives me grief. I'm getting more throw pillows in here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Nathan? More throw pillows. Nathan and Marissa are on their way back and we are hoping and praying that they like this color. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? Yeah. I'm nervous. I feel like uh, they put a lot of trust in us to like give us their home for a couple of days to just like tear it apart and try to put it back together. 
<laughs> better than it was before. Um, so I'm definitely nervous. Oh. Light. Go inside. <clears throat> you want to go, go inside? inside? All right. Okay, it feels good to be home, but I would be lying if I said I was not nervous. <laughs> My heart's pounding. I'm so nervous. I have a pretty good idea which one Marissa picked, so let's let's see if I was right. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> What, what is this called? Is this like a light? Ooh, this is looking good here. I like that. Yes. Oh, Sensible hue. You hear that? You like something. I mean, that's how it's <laughs> well, so what's your what's your initial reaction? Awesome that's the one I care about. I like it. It's a happy color. It's not too much, but it's just enough. It looks yeah, way different. Okay, oh my goodness. Go. So I'm still processing the cabinets. I'm actually really happy with it. And it's one of those colors, like the more you're around it, the more you love it. This RV is not even feeling like an RV. It's officially feeling like home. Now, this is not done. It is still a construction zone. The bedroom. <laughs> is not done the mid bunk is not done so next week we're gonna be continuing this and showing you guys hopefully really close to the end result of all this if you would like to follow along with this progress and see the end result a little bit early access mm -hmm. you can check that out on teamjourney.com and we would love to have you guys join us on that community well this has been quite the whirlwind <laughs> for us i hope it's been a fun journey for you uh it's all I, part of the journey it's all part of the journey until next time we'll catch you guys later I don't know. who's there uh, who who, who? who? <laughs> there you go buddy